Thank you so much. Thanks. Uh, thank you all for being here today. This is a, a blessed day uh, for me, my family. Uh, and so, so thankful for this opportunity. And I really appreciate all you players being here today. That means a lot to me and uh, for where we want to go as a team. As they say there's no better place in the country to play than a hill. And I can't wait for that first home game. I love watching it on TV, Big Monday. It ain't nothing better. So I'm, that's, that's what I'm most excited about, getting over there. But the one thing, if I didn't take a second, uh, I told these guys last night, this game isn't about me. It's not about the head coaches. It's about those guys right there. And from the bottom of my heart, I wouldn't be here today if I didn't coach some unbelievable players, some kids with great character, some kids with great toughness, some kids with great ability. And that's what I talked to those guys about last night. That's what I want in this program. Uh, at Iowa State. But to all you former Murray State players that I coached and all the ones in the past, thank you for putting me in this position today and putting my family in this position. But now it's time to get totally invested in Ames, Iowa. It's the only time to get invested in those guys right there. Those guys right there, you are my first priority. You will always be my first priority, okay? We will not let each other down. We've got great expectations. And I told you, let's just be great today. And then we'll be great tomorrow, and then we'll do something special together. Okay, it's not going to happen overnight. There's a great culture here of winning that they, Coach Hoiberg has done the last four years, and I'm just here to try to help these guys go a little bit further. I talked to them about what do I want to see out of my players, what do I want to do with my players. I want to challenge them spiritually. I want to see them grow socially make great decisions in the community, and impact this community by the way they interact, whether it's at camp or whether it's at, I got to learn the stores at High Five, or High V, uh, High V, High V, High Five, High Five will do after the game, with the student section. Um, academically, I want to see you graduate, and put yourself in a position to do great things, and the basketball, They've got great players here. They know how to win. The basketball stuff will all take care of itself. The more success, the more opportunities for each one of you guys. Someone asked what, what attracted you to this job. And I'll be honest, the first thing, that team. That's just being honest, that team right there. You know, back to back Big 12 tournament champions, three seed in the NCAA tournament, four tremendous seniors that I'm going to look to for great leadership, to steer the ship, run the ship, guide the team, because it's your team. Remember that. It's your team. Not my team. It's your team. This fan base, I touched on it briefly, Hilton Magic. You know, watching Big Monday, it's been a dream of mine uh, to coach at the BCS level and in no better conference than the Big 12. To be at a place that had great coaches from Johnny Orr to now your last coach, Fred Hoiberg, who everybody says about replacing him. I'm not here to replace him. I'm here to learn from him, use him as a resource, and hopefully benefit from all the success that he's had here the last four years. He'll be a great resource for me, and he's been very, very uh, welcoming to me over the last couple of days, and that's really, really appreciated. You know, everybody wants to know style of play. You know, we averaged 79, 80 points a game. We, do, we, we did shoot a lot of threes. The one thing about style of play, I think style of play really boils down to having those guys, making those guys have great confidence in themselves. Having those guys have a great belief that we don't want to let each other down. I think style of play is more than just, you know, and I've watched Coach Hoyberg's tapes to, to learn and, and see different things, and you hear them all the time yelling, spacing, 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 spacing. And you'll hear the same thing, spacing, get over there. Deepest part of the corner you can be in. So, but style of play is so much more than that. You know, style of play is making these seniors believe in it, believe in me and believe in what we're doing, and that we're gonna be successful. Style of play, like I said, is making him have just tremendous confidence that, man, if you miss a shot, man, I'm ready to go, I'm gonna make the next one. I want them playing with great freedom, to a point. 
And then we want to be hard-nosed and aggressive defensively, tough-minded, so we can win on the road, we can win big games at home, and we can have an opportunity to put ourselves in to win a championship. Lastly, I wouldn't be here without my family. You know, my parents are watching. They're in Wilmington, North Carolina. My mom, my dad, my brother's in Boston. I love you guys. Thank you for all the blessings that you've provided me over the years. And then to my wife, you live a place 10 years, it's hard enough. This is the longest place I ever lived was Murray. You live somewhere your whole life, that's tough. Thank you so much for letting me live this dream out. And to our son, Cass, thank you. It's about relationships. And from this moment on, I'm gonna invest in you guys, I'm gonna invest in this community, and we're gonna become one. Thank you so much for this blessing. similar to the makeup. You know, our starting, if I just talk about our the way we recruited at Murray, uh, our point guard was a high school kid, our two guard was a high school kid, our three man was a transfer, our four and five were two JUCO kids. Our first kid off the bench was a transfer, our second kid off the bench was a JUCO kid. I think there's a lot of similarities when you look at that. Just got to recruit the same way. Uh, great high school kids, junior college kids to put in position to be successful they come in here and then sit out one or two kids a year that can come in and make an impact the following year. And I told the guys last night, uh, this week is just about them. I need to spend as much time as I can uh, before I leave Friday morning getting to know these guys and them getting to know me, learning where they're from, telling a little about myself, let them. And then uh, next week, uh, once things play out at Murray, uh, when I get a chance to visit with uh, the assistants here, and the uh, operations uh, guy here and support staff here, uh, then we'll move forward with that. But uh, there's not a rush on my end because I understand this is, a, this is a tough profession. And I'm very, very fortunate to be here. These guys here have done an amazing job. Amazing. Coach Hoiberg just had an unbelievable opportunity. So I need to be very, very respectful uh, to them, uh, but also to the guys that work for me. So it'll just be a process. From a basketball standpoint, uh, I've watched, like I said, big, you don't want to get a chance to watch a ton of basketball when you're in your season, uh, but when you get to the road trip and you sit in the hotel, uh, I've watched these guys play a lot because I want to, you know, coaches are steel guys, you know. I'm going to watch and see something good that they do because their personnel fits our personnel. Uh, I'm not going to watch a team that's grinding out and scoring in the 50s, you know, unless I'm looking at special situations or different things. I want to uh, watch somebody's system that fits ours. And so I would reach, watch them. And, but watching the atmosphere, that's the one thing that just sticks out. Watching Hilton, Hilton Magic, that, that place is unbelievable. And the one thing, when I researched and talked, obviously everybody said, man, it's cold up there. But they said, it's got to be one of the top five places to play in the country, uh, and maybe you know, one of the top two places in this league to play. Just start young. Know, offensively, I want to break confidence. You know, defense is, you know, you're going to hold them accountable. Um, we're not a team that's going to press and run and jump a ton. You know, we may play a little bit here and there, situational, but we want to play half court, tough, nose, man to man, get in some passing lanes, really good ball pressure, and obviously it's the dictates on scouting. But we want to be really tough-minded in the half court. And we want to defend and rebound so we can. The best way to run is to defend and rebound and get that ball to your point guard and go. And everybody, you got a wing runner, a wing runner, a rim runner, trail guy, you know. But the more we get stops, the faster we can go. And so we just want to be tough-minded on the defensive end. And talking to them last night, they know, hey, if we want to continue to take another step, let's get better defensively, let's get better rebounding. And let's continue to play offensively, you know, the same way. I think everybody knew Coach Hoiberg was going to the Bulls for about a, <laughs> since the Cavaliers uh, beat him. But, you know, I said something to my wife one day, and um, I said, man, that'd be, a, that'd be a great place to coach. And we talked about it. And 
at that point is far-fetched. Uh, and then my agent called me one morning, about two weeks ago, I guess, and said, hey, Jamie reached out to me. And uh, somebody else reached out to me and said, hey, I think they may have some interest in you. And then uh, a couple days later, um, you know, asked me if I wanted to come down and interview. And then two days later, I was interviewing. And then I was hoping we'd make it through Sunday night so I could watch the Cavs-Warriors game. Uh, but I missed the second half. So I'm going to work my player. I'm going to watch game three tonight, though, with these guys. Question. I just went on, uh, just went on faith on that. Um, you know, I've had opportunities. Um, but, you know, it was going to happen at some point. Uh, I could have stayed at Murray 20 years, probably, easily. Um, but at some point, you gotta, you got you to gotta get out your comfort zone to grow. And that's going to be hard from a standpoint, from a family standpoint. Not a basketball standpoint, but from a family standpoint. Uh, but we'll get through that. And uh, my wife and I were talking last night, and a year from now, we'll be laughing about it. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. And, uh, and that's my priority, my wife and my, my son. Um, but she'll be okay. They've got good people up here, and a lot of people already reached out to her. Uh, but it should be tough. Because if you leave somewhere and you don't have emotions and you're not, then we'll, we'll, you didn't live there. And so, because uh, it's tough for me. It was hard for me to not just say bye to my players, but for me to, to leave.